Run, lady. Where's in the crack? Can't click on it. Hold on. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? I don't know why I gave that voice, but that's it. Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that new. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find that previous tenants if you like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry it wasn't very useful. A man about my age. Can only wonder what he was like. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. Okie dokie. I can't really do many voices because of my throat. Um, but yeah. Ah! What? The balls? Ooh, why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Don't investigate. Okay. Or do. Got a brass key. You know, you need to leave this apartment. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where... The guy's voice. The kid's voices. The mirror writing. The TV turning on. The coffee. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something. It literally is. You are a dumb person from a horror movie. Get the fuck out of the apartment. <laughs> oh, but I guess that's the point of these games, isn't it? Woo. Why am I applying logic to anything? But I would have, but I would have thought the landlady would have mentioned some th this kind of thing. What's going on here? Well, if you're the only tenant in the apartment since the other guy left, of course he did leave up and out of the blue. So maybe he ran away. It's like some Amityville horror shit. Not that I care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted and killed me either. Well, that is a strange thought to have, David. We're just gonna glance over the fact that you were like, I don't care if the ghosts haunt me and kill me. We're, we're gonna... You have literally no need to survive. We're just gonna... Okay, we're gonna glance over that, I guess. But I wonder if all that scrap of paper... What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? You don't care if ghosts haunt and kill you. But what's important is what about this scrap of paper and the man who used to live here? Kay. <laughs> David, you need therapy. These are not normal things to care about above not dying. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Alrighty then. Let's just sleep in here. Cut. <laughs> you. Alright, whatever, David. Sleep in the creepy apartment with glasses breaking and TV turning on and the crack in the hole and the tracks to the crack and the... What the fuck is that? What? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Is 
Why are you- why are you not leaving this house? Aha! It came from in here! What? Radio? Is it a spirit radio? <laughs> Is it the radio from Silent Hill? Which radio are we talking about? What? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Your apartment is clearly haunted. You clearly need to get the fuck up. What is wrong with you? Whatever. Hmm. There's something on this paper here. It's an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Let me guess, we're just gonna go back to bed, huh? Oh my fuck. I'm waiting for you. Whoa, what? I'm. I'm waiting for you? What? Why did... how... and when did it? <laughs> Finally, an appropriate reaction from you, David. <laughs> I would have done the scream, but my throat would not allow it. It hurts too much. For that. I can talk, but I'm not going to pretend to scream. Sorry. <laughs> so you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. No, your apartment's haunted. Paul gave you a haunted apartment. This is... You should have done this like four nights ago. I don't know how many nights it's been, but when this started. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it. Don't sweat it. But hey, what did happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like turning into a newlyweds love nest. My apartment is haunted. That is, you gave me a haunted apartment. That is what you should be saying right now. But okay. Hey, why you? <laughs> Just kidding. Why would you not be kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you not be, David? What? Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for... I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, are you making fun of me? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard from Marin. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her all for that. And you should. Thank you, Paul. You are truly a good friend. Don't worry about it. It's not Marin's fault. Yes, it is. It's completely her fault. She shouldn't be giving out your number to your ex without your permission. Just saying. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. Yes. As if a guy like me could find a date. Oh, well, I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Ah. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. He needs therapy. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. You need to go to therapy, sir. Psychiatry exists for a reason. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Ooh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Okay. Breakfast maze, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. I need a drink. My throat is killing me.
They did not help much, but okay. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains, about a five hour drive. Of course it's in the mountains. Why would it not be in the mountains? <laughs> did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Do you need to know about this room? Can't we just, like, not live in the room? That's a thing. You know, that's an option. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. So why are we gonna live here? <laughs> I don't understand. Prologue. David's room. End. Whee! We got through the prologue. So I, I guess I pressed something. Ooh. Save. David Hoover is your name. Okie dokie. So. I, I just want to continue. I saved again. How do I... Okay, you hit backspace. I figured it out. <laughs> okay. This game did come with, like, control instructions. It's probably on the website. I didn't look. Oh well. <laughs> I am enjoying this game so far, by the way. I know I'm, like, making fun of its, like, horror cliches, but, again, but it's not like I didn't expect that from the game. <laughs> I did totally expect, like, you know, horror cliches, like, the guy does not leave the fucking apartment! <laughs> Even though it's clearly haunted. You know. Anyway, let's see. Jeez, it's gotten dark. But this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Guess I'll have to check. Are we going to the Overlook Hotel? Or it's the Stanley Hotel, because I don't want a, a faded board. Hotel Ruhimheim, giving you a sincere stay. Okie dokie. Is there any... Nope, that's a ball. Tra -la 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 -la. There's nothing. Okay, I just have to go in. Yep, this looks like the Stanley Hotel. Which is what the hotel from the Overlook Hotel from The Shining is based on. By the way, it's locked. Clock stopped. Okay. Staff only, there's a wire around the doorknob. Can I read this? Nope. Okay. Holes painted over. This is some Silent Hill shit. <laughs> this door will not. The door is locked. The door is jammed. The door won't open. Oh, I found a room. It startled me. <laughs> There's something on a shelf. Treasure hunt. Okay. Treasure hunt. I guess some kid staying here drew this. <laughs> sure, I'll look for your treasure. I also don't know how to open my menu. The dresser is empty. I guess I'll figure that out. Hmm. Calm down, recorder. Looks like the bathroom. Alrighty. That's not going to open. That one's locked, so I need a key. Staff only. I need a passcode. Okay. Well, that's this hallway explored. There was one locked door, and then one that needs a passcode. And then the staff room needs to be opened, and there's another locked door. 
can't open that one. That one needs key. Not gonna open. Not gonna open. Not gonna open. Needs key. Not gonna open, okay. So I need two keys for this place. A key and a passcode for the other side. Something to cut the wire there and another key there. Let's try up here. Okay. Did it say like it was here? Eh? Something out of the table? Found a gold key. You f there's a peer beside you. Found the treasure. Congrats. <laughs> that's all that's on here. I'm assuming. If not, I'll come back. <laughs> I really don't want to search that table. Let's check. Okay, so this does open. It's a piano. Today's program, Skubert, through piano pieces. I don't know what's that. Grand piano. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. I'll check the fireplace. Do 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 do. What's there? Nothing. I'm going to assume for now that there is nothing there <laughs> because there's a lot to look through. Was it this one that was locked? Yes. Do I need to get to my... How do I... Get to my... Oh! What did I press? X. Okay. Now I know. Item. Okay, so the, did it, or, I forgot if any of these doors were locked. I think it was just that that one was open. I think it was just that one that had the lock. Yep, okay. So it doesn't work on this side. Maybe it works on the other side. Tra-la! And I don't remember which one it was. It wasn't that one. That one's locked. Okay. I don't know if this game needs me to do the thing. Um, I guess we'll find out when I use my first key, whichever one it uses. Um, which clearly wasn't the brass key. I should know that. Because that's the one I picked up before. No. But I guess whenever I come to a door, if I click on it and it just automatically uses the key, then I will know that I don't have to go to my menu every time. I wish this game had a map. <laughs> it's locked. Oops. Okay, so I need to find it. doesn't go to any of these locker rooms. Well, great. Not gonna open. Not gonna open. Oh, this one's already been locked. <gasps> Fuck me. What was that sound? It was a shit. There's a scrap of notebook on the dresser. Found a notebook scrap. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what she would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. Well, 
The rule on this page, it matches the, oh, the rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that, and our special place. He came here with her? Where could he be? He's probably the crooked man. He's going to murder me. <laughs> the shelves are empty. Nothing. Can I look up with it? It's completely dark now. Okay, dark. Um. Okay, scrap the notebook. That's what I got. Not going to open. Not going to open. Door is locked. There's a notice on the door. Due to employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. There we go. I don't have to go into my menu. Use the gold key. Okay. The owner's collection of books. Please read at your leisure. Oh, there's a key. Gimme. Give, give a key. You got the key to 109. Where the fuck is that? I don't know. What's this? Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside. And they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your dark by your kindness. And they will drag you away. Some kind of a cult book? But Paul would love this. He's way into that stuff with, for his age. Well, that was eerie. Packed tight with books from K to L. I to J. G to H. Whoops. Wrong way. E to F. C to D. That's a lot of books. A to B. What the? That sound? Nope, fuck that. Q to R. O to P. M to N. S to T. U to V, W to Z. Fully dark now. Decorative plant. I'm going to save really quick, because I scared I did. Okay. So let's go investigate the creepy noise. Someone there? It's gonna scare the fuck out of me, isn't it? What are these rooms? Okay, so it's the room key I have is not on the side. Unlock the door. I'm scared. <laughs> Looks like a bathroom. The chills are empty. There's something on top. I'm guessing I can use a chair? <laughs> Creepy noise. I don't like the noise it makes. Now I can get what's on the dresser. Wire cutters. Yay. Where was that piano? I forgot. I forgot where the piano is. 
Who's playing the piano? <laughs> I'm still expecting like a jump scare, because it said it would do jump scares. <laughs> 